In the Milky Lake features Yoshitomo Nara's protagonist, with orange hair standing serenely in the middle of milky water with arms behind her back. Half submerged in the lake, the girl's tranquil facial expression conveys a sense of peace, inviting the viewer into the watery expanse that extends beyond the confines of the canvas. Arguably one of the most important artists working today, Yoshitomo Nara's work speaks directly to a contemporary aesthetic that has had huge resonance over the last 20 years. It was in the early 2000s, after spending several years living in Germany, that Nara's critical and commercial success reached new heights. His solo show at the Yokohama Museum of Art, upon returning to Japan, highlighted the artist's unique blending of manga-style comic influences, with historical Japanese woodblock prints and other elements gleaned from popular culture. In the Milky Lake was painted at an important juncture in Nara's body of works. Executed in 2012, the work was created shortly after the devastating Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami, which dramatically affected Nara and his artistic output. Using sensitive brushwork and delicate palette, In the Milky Lake captures the shift in Nara's visual language, softening the once menacing expressions of its little girls. Gone are the knives, the guns, the cigarettes of Nara's previous heroines replaced by something that's more gentle. In the Milky Lake is universal and timeless in its message of peace and compassion, and provides a therapeutic comfort to both artists and viewer by offering a calming, shimmering, and ever-expanding body of water that soothes the trouble of the world. Pado is a major motif Nara has explored consistently throughout his body of works. He named his first major solo exhibition in 1995, In the Deepest Puddle. And when Nara resumed painting after the earthquake, it was puddles that began to appear in his first large-scale canvases, tracing an overarching thread in the artist's practice.